Hey, everybody, VP here, and it's time for another raw and very mediocre playthrough of Fortnite. Uh, actually, in this uh, version, um, <laughs> I just played this game. We're actually watching a replay of a game that I just played uh, because the impossible happened. Guys, I got a victory. <laughs> it wasn't an exciting victory. Uh, I didn't get many kills, but I did get a victory. And as you can see here, I was going to go to Risky Reels. But then I veered off because I saw all those guys going there. So I went here. I still hear gunshots going off. And, uh, yeah, check this out. Yeah, just smashing things, trying to get a gun. Always important to have a gun in the beginning. Took this chug. A chug that took ten years to chug. I don't know if a chug should be called a chug if it takes ten years. I don't know. I, I guess it could be. I don't know what else they would call it. Um, I guess if it was something fast, it would be like a... A, uh, I don't know, like a, like a swift or something. I don't know. I guess chug works. <laughs> I guess, I guess chug works. Okay, I hear a person right here. It's my first kill of the game, guys. It's coming up. I hear a guy. I'm very quiet. Very, see him? I hear him. Somebody's around. Where are they? I'm waiting for them to come through the door, but they don't come through the door, so I go out. I'll take the action. See that door open up and run over there? Okay, dude. Okay. Yep, yep, there he is right inside there. I think he spotted me, and bam! Have a little shotgun battle. Missed the first shot. Missed the second shot. Not going so well yet. Bam! Bam! Actually, I think I hit those shots. Can't really see it in the replay, can you? But uh, I did hit those shots. Look at this. Let's fight. Yeah! Take that, blue carbohydrate suit guy. You got pwned, my friend. You got pwned. Oh, hey, and uh, just uh, oh, another gunshot heard. I think about getting this guy. I try to get some mats, but uh, just so you know, I am gonna let me uh, so you know that I am in my replay and not like just copying somebody else's gameplay. See right here, Venomous Prime, right there. I could leave the match if I wanted to, but I'm not going to because we're watching this. Here's the replay screen. As you can see, I am watching Venomous Prime, which is me playing. So let's hide this again so we can see what else happens. Get another chest. Uh, that shotgun uh, fight did leave me with like hardly any mana, so it was nice to see these uh, these uh, mana uh, shield drinks here. So I picked them up. I get a gray AR. That is my great. That is my AR, guys. I have a gray AR. Uh, I have a blue tack, I think, at this point. And then I got the sniper rifle because I actually needed sniper rifle kills, eliminations, and I also needed um, clinger, stink bomb, or uh, uh, C4 explosion damage, basically, is what I needed from those things. So uh, I was trying to do that. I got my sniper out. I think I'm going to try to take a shot at the guy that I saw over here. My health's a little low. Take some apples. Om nom 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 nom. Eat my apples. Eat my apples. Good apples. My mats are still lower than I like right here, but uh, I just go with it because at this point the circle is coming in. And it's kind of unfortunate that you can't see the circle, you know, like the mini map or anything during the replay here. But uh, at this point the circle was rolling in. I think we heard the sound effect of it not too long ago. I saw a dude jump out here uh, when I was back in that house, so I'm trying to find him. I think he goes over here, so I try to go over here and try to find him. But then, as you can see, it looks like it's all uh, empty. Look, I'm all, I'm all sneaky. I'm like, I'm just peeking over the hill. I don't want to be spotted. Somebody takes a uh, rift up there. Takes a rift up there and uh, makes a move for it. And uh, I just go in here and I see, hey, this place hasn't even been looted yet. And look at that. Oh, there's where I pick up the tactical. Yeah, now I got a blue tactical shotgun in my hands. And that feels good. I dropped a green pump for it, so... Good stuff. Pick up some more ammo for my AR. Games like here. Have some more shields. I'm like, sure. Actually, no, I said no. No, sure. I don't need those shields, man. I'm full shield at this point. I do get this chest up here and try to get whatever I can out of this little area. The LMG sitting right there. I don't pick it up because uh, it's actually pretty bad. <laughs> that gun is not the greatest. Um, it's not the greatest gun in the world. It's not very accurate. I think the SMGs far outweigh it. Uh, so the light machine gun, man, that needs either be taken out of the game or something done to, to make it uh, 
viable again. Because uh, that sucker's all over the place with its aim. I don't like it, so... Screw you, blue light machine gun! Alright. Circle is moving in. I am moving away from the circle. And, and if I recall correctly, it was a pretty uh, far circle. Um, it was a pretty far circle, so... Um, I got a long way to run. Long way to go. Uh, I see these houses, and I'm still trying to look up, to try to replace my gray AR. Uh, come on, man! You don't want to you don't want to have a gray AR when you uh, when you venture into a game, right? You need something better. You need something better, man. There's a blue hunting rifle, but I already have a blue uh, bolt action sniper rifle. Uh, so I pass on that. All right. Did not find. A new AR, so I'm still got the gray AR and uh, still running from the circle, guys. The circle is moving in. The storm is coming. The visitor is moving out. He is moving out. Yeah. They haven't really done a lot of changes to the map. Have not done a lot of changes to this map recently. I thought there would be a lot more changes than there are now. We're already in week... Uh, oh, week five, I think it is, at the recording of this video. Uh... Yeah, well, week five, week six is about to open up. Two more days, I think, for week six. All right, I come to Lazy Links. Lazy Links, it's always a scary spot, but uh, the circle's already moving, the storm's already coming in, so I feel it's pretty safe to move in here because uh, I feel everybody that was here would have moved on by now. But uh, I do see some stuff that hasn't been looted, uh, like this right here is... Uh, I think I see that it's a purple AR. No, it's actually stink bombs. Yeah, there's a gray AR there, burst AR, and uh, stink bombs. I did not see the stink bombs there. I do, however, pick up stink bombs. If I haven't already. I might have them on me already. I don't know. I started with the uh, C4. The uh, C4, and then uh, I'm trying to get that explosive damage, so uh, I think I switched to the stink bombs. But I get in the cart, and I am so very happy to see the cart, because uh, that means that I cannot finally outrun the storm here. Uh, you'll see me park up at this, uh, one of these, uh, uh, yeah, park one of these bunkers, sand bunkers, and then I say, I'm gonna go on foot, cause I don't wanna make any noise, I'm trying to be all stealthy, I was trying to get the victory, guys, so I'm just being stealthy as I can be, uh, just being very careful, looking around, looking around, not gonna press my luck too much, I still do need mats, so I whip out my my pickaxe and start picking X. Picking X? Is that even the thing that you can do? You can pick an X. Anyways, I start pickaxing. <laughs> I see this structure and I'm like, somebody hiding in there? And I'm like, oh, nope, guess not. So I push down here. There's always chests down here. Uh, if you can get back this deep, uh, I shouldn't say always chest, but there's a high likelihood of a chest here. And I hear the chest when I'm here. So I know it's here. Just gotta remember where it is. Bust through this wall here. Bam! Look at that. There's some stone. Start smashing stone. I'm like, if I need mats, I might as well get stone because uh, stone is actually uh, pretty powerful now, guys. Stone is pretty powerful. Uh, the health. Uh, it gets to a higher health uh, pool faster than the, uh, the wood does now. So stone is a really good building material. I still primarily use wood, which I think most people do, but uh, if you really want your structures to uh, stay up, uh, stone uh, is the way to go. Or metal, if you get lucky enough to get the metal, because the metal is even better now. So The wood gets destroyed pretty easily now, um, but the stone, uh, not so much. Uh, I mean, obviously if it gets blown up or shot at, it's going to blow up really fast, but... Uh, not usually, man. Not usually. Alright, going across the thing. The storm is coming in again, and I have to outrun it, and it's like pretty darn far, man. It is pretty far from where I have to go. Can I bring up the map while I'm in replay? Oh, I can. Yeah, as you can see where I'm at. <laughs> see the little camera? There I am. And, uh, yeah, I gotta get all the way over here. So I go back, I get the cart, and uh, start cruising. Start cruising to the safe zone. Start cruising to the safe zone. Does that tell me how many people are alive at this point? Uh, you can kind of see the list of how many people are alive. Look at all the people I'm playing against. Right here. These are all the people that I am playing against. I had one kill. I Bank Crupt had five. Shadow Ways has four. 
Uh, that's kind of interesting. You can see all that, but uh, it doesn't show you how many people are alive, but I guess if we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15, uh, 15 are alive, and I don't know why that Lucky and P for Plethora are in red there. Uh, if anybody knows, uh, comment below. Uh, I don't know what that means. Did they get knocked? They, they can't get knocked, right? You either get killed or uh, elimin uh, killed or eliminated. You either get killed. <laughs> you, you get killed in this game. You don't get knocked. So I don't know what that. Where, why their names are in red. Lucky 805 and P for Plethora here. Here at the bottom. I don't know why their names are in red. But Anyways, moving to the circle. I am now in the safe zone again. I'm going to check out the creepy house up here. Creepy house has good stuff every now and then. So uh, I figure... Ooh, oof! Some nice driving there, VP. Some good driving. All right, check out the creepy house. It's in the safe circle, so I figure it's a nice, safe spot to hang out while I wait for the new circle. Uh, I played a little. I played a little. Um, a little more conservative than I do uh, usually in these videos, just because I wanted to get the win, man. I just wanted to get the win. Wanted to play conservative a little bit. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do here, and now I'm. Breaking the walls in here. Uh, I'm breaking the walls inside uh, so that if there is, happens to be anybody outside, uh, they won't hear me, hopefully. Or they won't see it. They might hear me if they're close enough, obviously. Okay, here's where I pick up the stink bomb. All right, this is uh, this becomes valuable in the end. Yeah, drop the C4 for the stink bomb. I was like, you know what? Landing the C4. I love C4. Don't get me wrong. I love the C4, but... Uh, Landing the C4. Now get these stairs out of my way. What them stairs doing there? Stinking stairs. As you can see, somebody has been through here already, but I do figure it's a good spot to hang out for a little while until the circle changes again. Um, but anyways, yeah, I dropped the C4 uh, for the stink bombs because I'm, I was like, you know what? I think I can get the stink bomb. I think I can get the damage with the stink bomb easier than with the C4. And I, I love C4, guys. I love using C4 on bases. Um... But I find, and it's actually true for all sorts of explosion devices, items, uh, that I don't use them very often. So I really need to kind of work on trying to use them a little bit more. And in this particular case, I was just like, you know what, I'm going to get the stink bomb because if I see somebody in a base, rather than try to destroy the base uh, with the C4, I'll just throw the stink bomb in it and chase them out of the base. That way I can uh, hopefully uh, kill them. And uh, you'll see... Uh, as we get further along, that uh, that is exactly what I do. Shots are heard up above, up ahead of me somewhere, very close. I figure they're on the mountain here, so I, I start climbing up the mountain. Somebody's fighting each other. Always a good, always a good time for me when uh, when I stumble across two people fighting. Uh, I think it's a good time for anybody when people are fighting, cause you just sneak in there and look at me. Even crawling right here, guys. I'm crouching. I'm crouching to keep my noise down. Uh, just in case uh, they happen to hear me. I don't know. I might have been too far away for these guys to even hear me. But I like to be, uh, like I said, I'm playing conservative. Playing conservative, trying to get to the top of the mountain. Because I do believe he is up here. And they are definitely having a firefight. And uh, look at that the chest. So I'm like, okay, get closer. Get closer. The circle changed again. I look down here and, gets, and glimpse him building. Get the stink bomb out. First use of the stink bomb. I'm glad the guy across the way he was shooting at didn't shoot me. But look, bam! Take that! Stink bomb! I don't think I hit that dude with anything, but it scared the crap out of him, and off he goes. I was really worried he was going to land right up here somewhere and uh, try to come at me. I was ready for it, but I was worried. Uh, but instead, he flies over to where he was fighting that other dude, and thankfully, that other dude didn't fire any guns at me, so... Uh, I'm thinking the other guy across the way was probably losing that fight. So, you're welcome, guy across the way. You are welcome, sir. Actually, can I see who that was across the way? Oh, yeah, yeah, let's see. The blue guy. The blue was Tom Dank Engine. And the yellow is, uh, is, uh, Lawn, Lawn Gamers? I don't know. But anyways, I know the guys are over there now. As you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six of us left. Five and me, guys. Top five situation. Have a little trouble navigating down the, <laughs> the hill here. It's always dangerous for me when I uh, when I try to jump down a hill. 
Uh, I usually take unneeded fallen damage, and I did take a little bit there, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, again, moving towards the circle. I'm not too far away this time, but I'm being very cognizant, very aware of uh, the two guys that are over there. Uh, so I'm being very, very conservative, very sneaky, just trying to uh, get myself into a good position for the end game, really. Just trying to get myself from, I see the uh, loot over there, and I'm like, uh-oh, somebody died. Somebody died right there. So now we're down to one, two, three, four of us. Me and three others, guys. Me and three others. All right. Looking at this place. Just being cautious, trying to see where people are. I deem it seems pretty safe. So I'm going to go down here. And this is actually where I set up my... My last bastion of... My last stand. Uh, actually, it turns out I get a little more materials here. A little more materials because I'm still quite low on materials. It's a lot lower than I like to be with materials. It's all that stuff in there, but... Uh, I could have went in and looted, but instead I just like... I am going to build... And at, I saw the green AR. I'm like, finally I get to replace my AR, dude. Leveled up my AR. I will take that. I was going to go inside, but then I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to hang out here. I'm going to hang out here by the gold truck. Hang out by the gold truck. Wait for the other people to kill themselves. And uh, hopefully pop out and merge. And let the circle come to me. Hopefully. And uh, and do what I can do. So I wait here. By the gold truck. And uh, yeah. I just wait. And again. There is now only three of us left. So me and two others. I have a hunch that somebody's on the other side of this building. Yeah over there. Uh, and then I'm just going to. I'm just going to hang out here and listen. Just going to hang out and listen. Eventually, I catch a glimpse of somebody coming down this mountain right in front of me. Um, should be coming. Yep, see him up there? See that little guy up there? He is up here. He's going to start jumping down. See, look, there he goes. He's building there. Building there. Building there. I get my sniper out. I was like, come on, buddy. Show yourself. Show yourself, buddy. I just lose track of him right there. I don't know. Honestly, have no clue where he went. <laughs> After he came down. I have no clue. Actually, let's watch. Where did that guy go? Okay. He is kind of coming towards me. Kind of coming towards me. Right? He is right here. He is this guy. I'm not going to switch to him because... Uh... But yeah, I totally lose track of him. Totally lose track of him. Don't know where he goes. It looks like he did. And now I hear somebody. Like, uh oh, somebody's close. Somebody is close. I got my shotgun out. Close range. Ready to blast anyone that comes to the door, but he's on the roof. Getting close. I hear the shots. They're fighting each other. Again. That's a good spot for me to be in. There, I finally spot him up there. Rocket comes from the other guy. Bam! I'm like, sweet. They are fighting. Uh, I know he's up there. Still staying here for a little bit. Just seeing how the fight's gonna go. Seeing which way the wind blows, as they say. Okay, there's the other guy. So now I know where both of them are. I can start planning my, my victory. Planning my victory. I believe that last missile shot hit the last guy. No, he's still up. No, he's down. I think the red must mean that they're, uh... See how his name's in red? That must mean that they died or something. I don't know. Or they're hurting really bad. Maybe that's what it is. They're just hurting really bad. So I get my smoke bomb out. Uh, I get my smoke bomb out. I'm gonna throw it up there. Listen, I'm getting damage. I am getting some damage. And I see him take off. And by this point this point, I think it's just me and this guy. Me and this guy. He starts building. I'm like, okay, you can build. I'll shoot you out. I'll shoot your base out. Starts, throws a rocket at me. That kind of took me for for a spin. Oh, look, there's an AR. And there was a scar right there. And I said, you know what? I don't need no scar. Who needs a scar? <laughs> that might have been a heavy shotgun. I don't know. But look, he just keeps building. I miss another shot. I'm like, tactical. Miss another shot. I think I get that shot right there. Okay, he goes down. He goes down. The gas is coming in, pushing on us a little bit, but I'm ahead of him. I'm ahead of him. 
There he is right there. Jump down. Ooh, missed that shot. Jump down again. Bam! Victory! <laughs> Number one, Victory Royale. And you can't see it there. I'll have to, um, I'll have to, uh, to put in the, uh, put in the, uh, the video of me actually playing, because I did capture my kills during this, uh, this playthrough, but, uh, I got it right there, I didn't get to dance, <laughs> I think I was so shocked that I won, guys, but look, I won, I won, dude, I got number one in solos, that is so awesome, uh, man, thank you guys for watching, and supporting me, and, uh, keeping it up, and I got it, guys, that just shows you that if you persevere, and you keep trying, and you keep trying, and you play a little conservative, doesn't help play a little conservative, um, you will eventually win. So, now, now we look forward to our next victory, and then that might be. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This has been a raw and very mediocre playthrough of Fortnite. Uh, I am VP. I am signing off. Hey, man, we got one in the books. Got a victory in the books. Solo victory in the book. My first solo victory. Thank you guys for the support. See you later. And hey, uh, keep on gaming.